hey y'all this is india and i am back with another video yes i am in my prayer closet my little apartment if you want to call it that however i just wanted to come on do something a little different today and not just rush the video i wanted to share with y'all my testimony so y'all know i'm transparent but private i share with y'all some things but i just wanted to share this with y'all to just showing y'all how god can move so fast for you only if you believe in him trust in him pray and have faith like y'all don't know what can be done overnight so i'm gonna just go ahead with my story so on yesterday y'all i had to mentally prepare myself for today i felt like the enemy was trying to attack me on yesterday like i just woke up in a good mood and spirit however it just something just hit me to where my chest had started i already hadn't woke up in the mind of yesterday to have a mental health day but i was not obedient like i just still was pushing you know sometimes when you just pour from from an empty cup and just steady just going and like you know you left on empty but you just know that you got to keep on going. That's how I was yesterday. But my body would not allow me to move the way I needed to. Mm -hmm. So that required me to rest. I rested. I mm. took a nap. Something I normally don't ever do. I'm not a napper. I go through the day, night, wake up late, go to sleep late, wake up early, and just be on it with no mm. questions asked. Even when I'm tired, I, just, I keep on going. It's just mm. me. But yesterday, God slowed me down. He slowed me down to where I couldn't do nothing but lay down. And when I tell y'all, when I got back up, I feel so much better. I had to mentally prepare myself for today because no one really know the transition that I, because I don't speak on things until it's done. But my kids are attending school this year. I am cutting it those wings of me attaching myself to them and them attaching themselves to me to where they are able to fly for themselves this year god told me it's okay it's okay it's okay india you don't have that worry send them kids back to school so i'm i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm being obedient and it's gonna be a good year however one is still needing a shot i had just done it a well visit about two weeks ago for Avery. But now it's Iris. In order for him to attend school, he needs this one shot. So we were without a vehicle right now. And God has taken some things from us to slow us down, to break us down, to build us back up. I shared that. However, I'm right now catching Ubers. I've never had to catch an Uber before. I've always said, like, I wouldn't know how to do an Uber if I if I if I had to. But guess what? I'm having to right now, God. And it's okay. It's okay. And he's humbling me. And God, I, I get it. You never my mama used to always say, you never say never, because you never know when you're gonna be in a situation. And not to say that. I've talked about it or I laughed about it. It's just, I've always been scared. I've always been scared because it's it's just so much stuff that didn't happen in the world today. But each move I make, God, God say, I got you. You ain't got no reason to fear. I got you. So I woke up today. I was prepared to send, you know, ride my baby with this 45 minute drive because there's no availability on this side for his shot. So I had to, one, spend more, prepare myself to be in a moment of silence with a stranger with my baby to not break down emotionally. But I was prepared for this. I paid and booked it. I was in here doing my workout this morning and I don't never have my phones on unless I feel like I have an important call and I know that someone's going to be calling me for this call. My ringers are always on silent. I don't need no type of distractions right now. If I see a phone call, I know how to get back with them. If I see a text message, I know how to respond. But even emails. If I see so much stuff just piling up on my phone, I'm a person that don't like clutter. So I'm going to be trying to delete stuff. 
and see stuff and just be distracted. <laughs> and right now, I don't need some some type of distractions for what I what I'm going through. If it's not a help, I don't need it. If it's not, you know, I'm not saying it like, oh, it, it has to benefit me, but I don't need no distractions right now. That's just what it is. I, I got a vision and I'm trying to push for this vision. I don't need nothing blocking me and in my ears and in my eyesight in my way right now. Come on. So I say all that to say. I got the phone call and I don't even see how the phone went through. One my other phone down on this floor. I just I don't be knowing if you gotta call so many times for it to ring. Like I just I don't know how I have my phone set, but it's on personal. I don't want no calls from some you know, I, I just don't I don't wanna see that right now. But God had me look up this morning for this call on this other phone. It rung. I sent it didn't ring out loud, but I seen the call coming through. So I, I was like it's a Texas number. I know it's, it's important because it called my main phone. So I answered it, and it was the kids. It was Ariel's nurse for school, the school that she will be attending. Pretty much, basically, basically saying she need a shot as well. She need multiple shots, and I'm like, Ariel only missing one shot. But give me a minute. I'm about to pull out my computer while you're on the phone, so I can tell you exactly what it is she need. But it's overdue. But it's not really needed she's like well you have more than one option you can take her to get it you can get a affidavit way basically saying that's good for two years saying that she she's just not going to get them or there's a local two local schools up um that's not too far away that is giving them out you know today and tomorrow i was like oh, i'm still new in the area i'm really not knowing what's what i say but i do know that i have an appointment coming up I got you, baby. I got you. I have an appointment coming up for today that I am preparing for my baby to go get his shot. And it's a 45-minute drive because there's nothing available on this side. So I'm having to send him to another side. She don't know I'm about to be getting in an Uber. She don't know, you know, she don't know these things, but she just don't know that she's like, give me a minute. Let me see if I really, really do. I said, because I thought I sent in all the shot records. Like, I, I sent all this stuff that you asking me. And I'm I'm thinking she's good. But she's like, give me a second. The lady get back on the phone. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You could disregard this call. She is good. But I'm going to still send you the link in case you just want to sit, you know, for a moment before you make this appointment or just for future references that um the schools is doing it today that's not even 10 minutes away so she emailed me the links and i say this to say god move he can move for you overnight she thought this call was in vain baby but this call is to help me i was able to apologize for the the office that i had to counsel because they worked magic to get my baby this appointment for today but again they don't know on the end the back end that i'm having to pay for an uber plus ride with somebody that i don't know for 45 plus minutes plus having to get another ride back home 45 minutes and it's also taken away from my kids school stuff that's needed so I emailed that lady back and said, I thank you so much. That call was not in vain. You helped me to be able to still get my baby to this next appointment. Uh, Well, walk in. That's not even 10 minutes away. And yes, I might have to pay for it out of pocket. $15 versus a Uber back from, from there to back. So I say this to say, I this is my testimony. I was going to have to... My baby don't know what's going on. And the last time I shared it, something crying because I had to leave out and was wrestling back and forth that day to get him shots. And they turned me around from the location because they said, oh, we don't do it no more. Well, it's on your website. And I'm walking from one place to the next place until our Uber came to trying to catch other stores. Like, it's a lot. But I thank God. I thank God that I'm able to share this testimony with somebody that don't have faith to keep going. This is my testimony to you to keep pushing. 
God will make a way for us all out of no way. You just got to have faith. And I'm crying because he moving for me right now. And I don't even know it, but I feel it. I feel it in my soul. You keep doing right by people. The right people going to come in your life to help you get to the next level. And I just, I thank God for all what he's doing in my life. He's doing a 360 on me as well as my family. Um, And I'm not questioning it. The losses turn into lessons. And that's all I have for y'all. My brother had to sing to me yesterday. He was in the kitchen. He was in the kitchen cooking. So I'm going to share with y'all the song that he just sung to me out of nowhere. But I needed him to lift up my spirits. My chest was starting to hurt. And I'm too young. I'm too young for all that. I am too young for all that. Here, baby. So, yes, this is a relief for me. So, don't feel like I'm on here all sad and I want to cry with her because this is just my testimony. And I have I have too many kids to not keep pushing. My kids don't stop me from doing whatever it is. I didn't have to record this video multiple times because um, I, I got a phone call in the midst of this recording and my baby just be cutting up. But... Say, that's not stopping my mama from doing whatever it is she needs to do. And everybody else be in the front. They don't be knowing what I've been doing in this class. And when I be like, I got to do something with my baby. Most of the time, AJ is in there doing something in the kitchen, cooking or doing something else. So, you know, it's it's all about balance as well. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And just keep having faith. God going to work in your uh we gonna work it out for you in mysterious ways. You just, I never question him, and I, I just want you to just hold on to that faith just a little while longer, and have a good day, y'all.